in this video. We are talking, let's pause it, PowerDirector app keyframe audio and video volume. PowerDirector have quite honestly outdone themselves a couple of months after introducing the keyframe for the visual elements into the keyframing of audio. In this video we're going to learn how to do that with as many things as possible. So in other words, the elements are a piece of video clip, a piece of music, a voiceover. So that's three elements there that we're going to control. So before we even start, we can have a look straight away at what we've got on the audio mixing. And what we can see is we've got the main video timeline up at 100, we've got the music up at 100, and we've also got the voice over up at 100. I will take my time on this because I'd rather take my time and get it right for those people watching than actually rush it and be clever about it and get it wrong. So for an example, let's just make sure that my volume is up a bit. Any audio you hear from PowerDirector here on the timeline will be out of the phone speaker and in my microphone that you can hear my voice in. So let's just play. Let's just turn that down. This is what we've got so far, look. So we've got an intro just, of course, I said about the keyframing. Now, you just listen, should be a bit of a mess. Here we are, we're about to look at a beautiful forest with a tree. I'll just stop it there, because what you've got is this music track coming up, which is this one, and then also, of course, the uh, voiceover for um, me just introducing things. And then we've got another piece which goes into this one. Uh, let me just play from here, because this is some church bells, and I'll show you what I mean. At the moment it's a mess so let's get started with this brand new feature so the first thing we need to do is to go down and I'm going to in this example just mute and the volume and I can mute that track so when I play it back in the purpose of this uh, tutorial you can see that I'm actually trying to say something you just listen here we are we're about to look at a beautiful forest with a tree right so I've in this area here of blackness, here is a clip I'll just play. Of, but up, but up, but up, tree, tree, tree. Yeah, which is silly, and I shouldn't have said that. So what I'm going to get at is I want to, first of all, add a keyframe, and I'm going to turn this back on again and unmute, and I'm going to deal with the music track first. And what I'm going to do is, up to this, let's make it a little bit bigger. And for those people who are desktop video editing you'll be familiar with volume envelopes and that's what you put over the top of this. For those people completely brand new then this is a, quite an advanced feature. So for, first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to know that knowing that this piece at the bottom is my voice and I'm going to therefore hit the music, edit the music and I'm going to hit volume and on that volume what I'm going to do is I'm going to unmute it but I'm also using the diamond on the right hand side to add a keyframe and you can see that there is a white horizontal line straight through. Then what I'm going to do, oh, sorry about that, I didn't mean to do that, volume and if I wanted to, to add an automatic fade in you can see, can you see the white lines there? That it's actually almost looks like it's going up a hill so to, to add a fade in it does fade in automatically but it doesn't suit what we're after so I'll turn that off I'm going to bring that, um, sorry about that, I don't mind, oh, what have I done here, what have I done here, let's just turn that around, there we go, so I'm going to come back, so remember pressing and hold sometimes might delete things, or whatever happened there, notice that there is an extra volume uh, mixing board on the left hand side, and bear with me one minute. Right, here we go. So this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it along and I've already got one keyframe in and I'm going to add it just there and I'm going to add another keyframe. Now at this keyframe I've got a dialer on the right hand side that has said 100 and I'm going to dial that right back to about say 7. Now listen this time to what's actually happening. So this time we go in play here we are, we're about to look at a beautiful forest with a tree. Did, did you experience that bounce there? We've keyframed the audio exactly where we want it to go 
up. Then we can go along and we say, right, well, I want to speak again, but this time it's really annoying because what actually happens is I speak and I, I say something silly like, ba 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 da, you know, it's here's a tree sort of thing, but I'm going to ignore that part at the moment and I'm going to move it along to another part there, add a keyframe, add another one just after it there, and this time I'm going to bring the music down to, let's say, about four. So therefore, the music here, if you like, on this keyframe, notice that I've tapped the keyframe, I can make it higher than normal, and I'm going to add that up to 100, and let's go up to its maximum of 200. Let's see what we've got so far. And I think you get the idea that we are dialing in, we are keyframe the audio wherever we need it. So then we can go across. Let's see what we've got so far. Here we are, we're about to look at a beautiful forest with a tree. Now bear in mind the audio is increasing right up to 200, then it will drop sharply. Let's listen to that. I think the sharpness comes about there, doesn't it? So let's see. Now let's have a Ooh, that was that was quite interesting. You listen to that again. Now let's have another look. Oh, that was quite professional. If you look at the visual as well, and I'll just bring that down. Um, watch this. Now let's have another look from the opposite direction. But up, but up, but up, tree, tree, tree. Bit silly, isn't it? Because I've actually said but up, but up, but up, and I shouldn't have done. So therefore, I go back again. And I say to say, right where we are. I didn't say this was a fast process at all. Let's add a keyframe. Let's go in there. Let's add another keyframe, this time bring it right up to, say, 170. Listen to it back. Ba -da -ba -da, tree, tree, tree. Now, clearly what I've done is um, added, let's see what, the whole thing together, so you can see an idea here. Oh, let's see what happens. Tree, tree. Now let's have another look from the opposite direction. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, tree, tree, tree. You get the idea now, add a keyframe, add another keyframe, dial this one down, move it back, play. But up, but up, but up, tree, tree, tree. After leaving the forest, we go out on the path to listen to the church bells. Right, so now we're up to church bell level. So at the moment, I might want to leave that. Let's see what happens. Now at the moment there are church bells, now this is what we need to do, is we need to click the video clip, hit or tap volume, this time I've already got a couple of keyframes here but what we've done is, because of the music we need to add, I'm going to make that really loud up to 200 and let's see how that plays out, let's see what happens, I'll put that in so you can still see the keyframing, yeah let's play there. Now you might argue that what you've got is the bells are good, but the music's too loud. So therefore you can go down and you can say, right, we've got to, let's try and get a keyframe there. Let's bring that up to about there. Add another keyframe, bring that down to zero this time. Let's play that back to see what we've got. And to the church bells. Down the path, down the path, down the path we walk. Now that is annoying, and obviously for this example, then I can go back in and hit volume here, and I can, say, add a keyframe to this piece of voiceover, add another keyframe, and the reason I do two is because you've got to, it's like going up and down a hill. If you want to take one down to get the the hill or the, the volume keyframe going down, you must add two because you can't go up and down a hill with just one point because you're changing the whole of the audio clip. Let's see what we've got so far. Play. I think we have not exactly exhausted, but we've got to a level where we are dealing quite a lot with keyframes. And if you wanted to check any keyframe whatsoever, then you can just click in to tap the 
audio line, then we go into volume and you can clearly see your keyframes. If we want to tap this voiceover audio track, you can see that there is a keyframe added. The only tip I would give you quite clearly is that if you wish to move an awful lot of keyframes, do them in sets of two. And I'll demonstrate this one more time. In here, if I wanted to add a fade in like that, and if I wanted to, look, say, say where it says keyframe mix just in the middle of that, I said I wanted to drop a bit of that to zero, I must add a point, add a point, and add another point, and then what you'll find is as they go blue, I can bring that down to zero. Then I can come across and once it changes blue, bring that one to zero. Do you see what's happening? You're actually curating exactly um, the level of the volume by probably about a tenth of a second, or they call it keyframe here. You can see as I move, look at this part on the right hand side, that as I start to move through, as I move the timeline, the volume slider on the right hand side is whizzing up and down depending on what that volume is. This is an amazing, amazing thing. I've been here for about 10, 11 minutes here, which is fine because um, I hope people can learn from this and see the amazing, awesome power of um, this thing, which is PowerDirector app, Android and iOS. You'll see it on an Android 9 machine. So good luck. Right now I will fade to the, this was Mike Downs, YouTube and have a lovely day.